Hello. Hello and welcome to the main galley of the mothership. Uh-oh, we have a malfunction. Ha! Ha! Welcome. Motu Joneser, as you can see, we found some roll caps. Spaulding, Captain Spaulding. My neighbor had one roll of those from 1975. So those green ones might work better. But hey, look, <clears throat> we're here for a special unboxing. We will be opening it with this, which we'll be doing a review on this. This is, <laughs> motherfucker, this is the shit. This is the shit. But yeah, let's, um, I'm about to go pick the missus up from work here in about, oh, 15 minutes. So we will, uh, we have some errands we need to do, so. God damn, that motherfucker is sharp, too. Uh, this knife's really sharp. I don't particularly like the angle on it, but I'm gonna leave it. We'll do a full review on this lovely vintage-style fighting knife at a later date. Um... But yeah, dig this. I, I'm not sure exactly what year this is from. It is in the original packaging, so we may be able to find a date on it. The original packaging is really tore up. Um, let me see. MCMLXX1. I, I'm gonna, let me see. 21, what's L? MCMLXX1 is the date. So, Dylan, Dylan will put that down in the comments. Um, that's. Is that 71? Two X's is 20. MCM LXXI. MCM LXXI. Y'all are sitting here going, let's see what it is. So dig this, you guys. I'm guessing this is from the 60s. Or the 70s, but probably the 60s. I'm trying to think of all the old Western movies I watch. They all are date their shit like that too. MCML. I don't know, but this is cool. So the packaging is uh, really tore up. And it's been taped. Um, there's no mold on it or anything. So that's cool. The corner is tore. But it is a broom handle Mauser for you Han Solo aficionados. But look at that. Dick Tracy machine pistol. No batteries necessary. Let's see, does it still work? Oh, it doesn't. Oh. Ha 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 ha! So very cool. Will look very cool on the shelf with. I think we have a. This doesn't like to stay in the center. Yeah, it doesn't like to stay in the center. It's not staying in the. Ah, 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 ha, ha. Got a little bit there. I think the spring also needs to be replaced in this. This fucker is old. But to go along with our 1950s Dick Tracy cat pistol, we have a 1960s Dick Tracy machine pistol. Um, this is from the Lar 
L-A-R-A-M-I, Laramie Company Corporation, Philadelphia, PA, made in Hong Kong, home of the shiny green suit. If you can uh, put in the comments what uh, movie that line is from, I got it in Hong Kong. Home of the shiny green suit. You know what? We all know Dylan knows what that's from because Dylan knows just about everything. Look at this fucking vintage motherfucker here, would you? So very cool. I, uh, I'm sure I've shown y'all. I probably haven't, but I know Dylan has seen it and I'm maybe a few people like Mark on private messages, but I do have a broom hand, a actual original working broom handle Mauser in 30 Mauser caliber, and it is one of my prized possessions. Uh, the one I have has been nickel plated sometime in the 60s, which is why it was affordable for me to purchase it because that removes all antique collector value, but it shoots real good, boys. But yeah, check this out. I don't know if, I don't know. I'm thinking about opening it. Um, just because the packaging is so terrible. But, look at that. Anyway, I hope y'all like that. It'd be neat to maybe put both of these in maybe like a shadow box with a few other vintage... Dick Tracy memorabilia um, items. But yeah, this was a great pickup uh, on eBay. I think it was like $15. That's with the shipping. So anything that old, um, I think is pretty fucking neat, you guys. Pretty farkin' neat. C96, semi-automatic Mauser. This is actually the uh, detachable box magazine version, which came out later. The original had a, uh, you loaded them through the top. This looks to be the later model where you detach the mag. Nothing like the old, how come they don't make guns to do that anymore? The old standby. No batteries necessary. Anyway, I <clears throat> thought I'd share this with you guys. Thought you might enjoy it. Motu Joneser and um, Bill at Weird Fantastic Toy Adventures. Possibly Jim Largo and Wilhelm Toys and the rest of you old fellers out there that like the original Dick Tracy. Notice this is long before the Warren Beatty 1990s film. This is when Dick Tracy was a black and white serial at the, down at the theater. Or he used to pay a nickel, watch movies all day for a nickel. <laughs> but yeah, very cool, huh? I think it's pretty cool. I think it's extremely cool. But yeah, the packaging has definitely seen better days, but the, uh, the gun inside, the toy gun inside is definitely mint. <laughs> you know, the card is not mint, but the it is mint on card because ain't nothing wrong with that. So very cool. So I hope you all enjoyed this little video. Checking out this Dick Tracy machine pistol. And y'all look for Dylan's comment. Uh, and he will tell you what year MCMLXXI is. So thank you. Thank you, Hong Kong, for making such a cool little, cool little toy broom handle Mauser. So anyway, if, and also this is the same firearm, of course, that Han Solo's uh, DL-44 is made after is the C-96 broom handle Mauser. Very cool. All right. This has been the general. 
styling and profiling and high flying. And uh, I will see on what? I will see on everybody. I will see everybody on down the trail.